Hi. Hello, Suzuki. Um, I will be talking about plasmid genomics, plasmid genome sequence analysis. Okay, so first introduction. So plasmid, uh, extra-chromosome element, extra-chromosome genetic element, DNA, um, as shown in this figure, like small DNA, circular DNA, like red, um, orange, and mosaic uh, circular DNA. And plasmid can be transferred between different bacterial cells through conjugation, as shown here. And uh, plasmid often confer phenotypes to the host, such as antibiotic resistance, uh, resistance to heavy metals, and many virulence, uh, pathogenic factor. So currently, there are more than 10, 4,000 completely sequenced plasmid genomes. Most of these sequences are derived from bacteria. So using these big data, many, many genome sequence data, previous research um, compared many DNA sequence features between plasmid and their host chromosome to understand um, adaptation of plasmid to their host uh, co-evolution of plasmid and their host. So for example, um, it has been shown that there is a strong correlation between plasmid GC content and their host chromosomal GC content. Uh, in this figure, each dot, each point denotes each um, plasmid host chromosomal pair. So this strong correlation suggests that plasmid have acquired, gained their host nucleotide composition, GC content, due to host-specific evolutionary pressure, host-specific selective pressure, and the mutation bias. And uh, there are many studies on codon usage, and codon usage can vary between genomes and even among um, different genes within a genome. So during the plasmid, residence in the host. Host-specific evolutionary pressure can homogenize codon usage of any replicon in the host, like chromosome and plasma. So in this biohackathon, I will perform codon usage analysis to um, test the, this hypothesis. Um, so whether plasmid have similar codon usage to the host, and uh, what is the major source of um, the variation in synonymous codon usage among um, genes in plasmid? Okay, thank you.